the preacher. The son of David, king in Jerusalem, vanity of vanity, saith the preacher. Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit hath a man of all his labor, which he taketh under the sun? What profit, or one generation passeth away, and another generation is coming, but the earth abideth forever. The sun also riseth, and the sun goeth down, and hasteth to his place where he arose. The wind goeth toward the south, and turneth about unto the north. It whirleth about continually, continually and the wind returneth again according to his circuits all the rivers want run into the sea yet the sea is not full unto the place from whence the rivers come thither they return again all things are full of labor man cannot utter it the eye is not satisfied with seeing nor the ear filled with hearing the thing hath been it is that which shall be and that which is done is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun. Is there anything whereof it may be said, see this is new? It hath already been it, it hath already been already of old time, which was before us. There is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come, but those that shall come after. I the preacher was king over Israel in Jerusalem. And I gave my heart to seek and search out by wisdom concerning all things that are done under heaven. This sore travail hath God given to the sons of man to be exercised therewith. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun. And behold, all is vanity and vexation of spirit. That which is crooked cannot be made straight. And that which is wanting cannot be numbered. I communed with mine own heart, saying, Lo, I am come to a great estate, and have gotten more wisdom than all they that have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge. And I gave my heart to know wisdom, to know madness and folly. I perceive that this also is a vexation of spirit. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. I said in mine heart, go to now, I will prove thee with mirth. Therefore enjoy pleasure and behold, this also is vanity. I said of laughter, it is mad and of mirth, what doeth it? I saw, I sought in mine heart to give myself unto wine, yet acquainting my heart with wisdom and to lay hold of, on folly till I might see what was that good for the sons of men. Sons of men. Sons of men, which they should do under the heaven all the days of their life. I made me great works. I builded me houses. I planted me vineyards. I made me gardens and orchards. And I planted trees in them of all kind of fruits. I made me pools of water to water there with the wood that bringeth forth trees. I got me servants and maidens and had servants born in my house. Also, I had great possessions of great and small cattle above all that were in Jerusalem before me. I gathered me also silver and gold and the peculiar treasure of kings and of the provinces. I got me men singers and women singers and delights of the sons of men and as, as musical instruments and that of all sorts. So I was great and increased more than all that were before me in Jerusalem. Before me in Jerusalem. Also, my wisdom remained with me. And whatsoever mine eyes desired, I kept not from them. I withheld not my heart from any joy, for my heart rejoiced in all my labor. And this was my portion of all my labor. Then I looked on all the works 
that my hands had wrought, and the labor that I had labored to do. Behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit, and there was no profit under the sun. And I turned myself to behold wisdom and madness and folly. For what can the man do that cometh after the, after the king? Even that which hath already been had already done. Then I saw that wisdom excelleth folly as far as light excelleth darkness. The wise man's eyes are in his head, but the fool walketh in darkness. And I myself perceived also that one event happeneth to them all. Then said I in my heart, as it happeneth to the fool, so it happeneth the event to me. And why was I then more wise? Then I said in my heart, that is this also is vanity. For there is no remembrance of the wise more than of the fool forever. Seeing that which now is in the days to come shall all be forgotten. And how dieth the wise man as the fool? Therefore I hated life, because the work that is wrought under the sun is, grie is grievous unto me, for all, van for all is vanity and vexation of spirit. Yet I hated life, because the work that is wrought under the sun is grievous unto me, for all is vanity and vexation of spirit. Yea, I hated all my labor which I had taken under the sun, because I should leave it unto, unto the man that shall be after me. And who knoweth whether he shall be a wise man or a fool? Yet shall he have rule over all my labor, wherein I have labored, and wherein I have shewed myself wise under the sun. This is also vanity. Therefore I went about to cause my heart to despair of all the labor which I took under the sun. For this is a man whose labor is in wisdom and in knowledge and in equity. Yet to a man that hath not labored, therein shall he leave it for his portion. This is also vanity and a great evil. For what hath man of his uh, of all his labor, and of the vexation of his heart, where, wherein he hath labored under the sun? For all his days are sorrows, and his travail grief, yea, his heart taketh not rest in the night. This is also vanity. There is nothing better for a man than that he should eat and drink, and that he should make his soul enjoy good in his labor. This also I saw, that it was from the hand of God. For who can eat, or who else can Hasten hereunto more than I, for God giveth to a man that is good in his sight wisdom and knowledge and joy, but to the sinner he giveth travail, to gather and to heap, that he may give to him that is good before God. This also is vanity and vexation of spirit. To everything there is a season and a time, to every purpose, to every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. What profit, it, what profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? I have seen travail, which God hath given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. He hath made everything beautiful in his time. Also he hath set, also he hath set world in, in their heart. I know there is no good in them, but for a man to rejoice and to do good in his life. And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth it, that men should fear before him. That which hath been, that which is, which hath been is now, and that which is to hath already been and God requires that which is past and moreover I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there and the place of righteousness that iniquity was there 
I saw in mine heart. God shall judge the righteous and the wicked, for there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. I said in mine heart concerning the estate of the sons of men that God might manifest in them. And that they might see that they themselves are beasts. For that which for that which is befalleth the sons of men befalleth beasts, even one thing befalleth them. As the one dieth, so dieth the other. Yea, they have all one breath, so that a man hath no preeminence above a beast, for all is vanity. All go into one place, all are of the dust, and all turn to dust again. Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward, and the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth? Wherefore I perceive that there is nothing better that the, that a man should rejoice in his own works, for that his that for that is his portion. For who shall bring him to see what shall be after him? 